I was in this bar a couple of years ago. I will never forget this. It was called, uh, I don't know, the, 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 the song came on rather. And, and it was because the bar was terrific, it was empty, you know. I went in, I had a paper or a book with me, I just wanted an hour, you know, to sit and be. And, and uh, it was wonderful, nothing nicer than an empty bar. And um, then this song came on, I will never forget it. It was called The Funk Soul Brother. I'll always remember that because it was also all of the lyrics. And uh, <laughs> it was that school of songwriting, you know, very easy on the words in case they get wasted. I don't know why there's a shortage. And it, was, it sounded like a million fire engines chasing 10 million ambulances through a war zone. And it was played at a volume that made the empty chair beside me bleed. And, <laughs> and it went, um, the funk soul, brother, right about now. Yeah. It's the, it's the Funk Soul Brother. Check it out. It's, uh, well, it's Funk Soul Brother, essentially. He's, uh, he's coming, coming at you. Funk. Ah, oh, it's, it's the Funk Soul Brother. And um, after a while, I began to penetrate the meaning of this song, you know. I gathered that somebody was about to arrive, and everybody else was terribly excited. Maybe he was bringing cake or something, they didn't say. But he, you see, the thing was, the thing is, he wasn't there yet. <laughs> that was the hook. And I'm not saying it's a bad song, you know, or anything like that. All I'm saying is that you could get, a, I don't know, a broom, say, and dip it in some brake fluid and put the other end up my arse and <laughs> stick me on a trampoline in a moving lift and I would write a better song on the wall. That's all I'm saying. tried, you know, but I can't help it because I, I remember when singers were singers, ugly people. You know, Aretha Franklin needed a lot of room to eat her chicken wings. <laughs> Janis Joplin used to come out in clothes woven from her own vomit. <laughs> and Nina Simone, an amazing singer, could look at a railway track and buckle it. <laughs> it didn't matter. They were beautiful people because of what they could do. Now, they have these Pop-Tarts pumped out by some producing machine. You know, they, they, some of them, they're not, they have no talent, but some of them have body parts that are more famous than them. You know, they get their arse flown on a different jet to the gig. And they... They're not these people, they're not, I wonder who they are. They're just, they're not even people, they're just things to occupy tongs. And, um, 